Hi guys! It is Friday, March 10th, and Ben and I, not March 10th, March 12th. Ben literally just said the date to me, <laughs> and I said the wrong one. It's Friday, March 12th. Ben and I are in the car. We're on our way to a tiny cabin. They're called getaway cabins, and they're basically like little campsites that they have set up all over the country with tiny cabins. And you get your own individual tiny cabin. How many times can I say tiny cabin? With a fire pit, you get two chairs, there's a picnic table, and then there's a bathroom with a shower and toilet and a kitchen inside. We're on the way there. It's about an hour and a half away from us. We're in Pittsburgh. The place is in Ohio, somewhere in Ohio. It must be like right on the edge of Ohio because it's only taking us an hour and a half to get there. But yeah, we are on our way and it's in the middle of nowhere. We brought a ton of food with us that I'm sure we're not going to eat all of, but I wanted to keep my options open and I figure since we don't have anything to do, um, we'll probably just be eating a lot. <laughs> have fire, have to walk. Yeah, we'll go for walks, have fire. We're going to cook dinners, so I brought stuff to cook a dinner tonight. It's like this pasta thing. And then tomorrow we're making steaks on the fire. So yeah, I will keep you updated and let you know when we get there. Here's our cabin. Fanny. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna flew through the windshield. <laughs> we have arrived. We got into the cabin. I put in my code to get in. There's the code thing on the door. <laughs> and Ben's getting um, the stuff out of the car now, but I just wanted to show you it. So this is what you see when you walk in. There's a little table there. They gave us a s'mores kit. There's a cell phone lockbox. Ben and I were like, we're probably not going to use that. Um, they gave you sticks for the s'mores over the fire. Some papers and a little note. And then that's the bed with a giant window. There's a window to the left on the bottom of the bed too. That looks like it opens up. Then they gave you a little lantern. I'm pretty sure you can take that off and bring it out to the fire with you or wherever you want to go. Um, the fire is out that way. Can't really see it from here, but it's out there. That's the view we have out the window. You get a big bed with pillows and linens. And then over here is the kitchen. And there's a phone there. Um, I think the AC is in here, but we're not going to use that because it's chilly out. But there's the fridge. It's like something you'd have in your dorm room, but I think it's really cute. And then there's a little stove area. You have a tea kettle. They give you coffee cream, sugar, olive oil, utensils, salt and pepper. 
and then these dish rags, can opener. <laughs> um, what else? There's a Bluetooth speaker up here that you can use. I don't know what this is. Oh, that must be for the air conditioning. There's some books you can read if you're into that. I wonder what's in here. Nothing. <laughs> they have foods that you can eat, but you have to pay for them. Um, so they have coffee, teas, hot chocolate, all of that. We'll probably end up using the coffee out of there, but I brought my own tea. And then they have pots and pans up there. They got a sink with some hand soap and a sponge. I just noticed that. You have your kitchen knives, a lighter, bottle opener, scissors, and a cutting board. So that's the kitchen. And then this is the room. And in here, there's a couple things too. There's like a dog bowl if you need that. We don't have a dog. Some paper towels, a little dust pan, and some more paper towels. And then the bathroom is over here through this door. Got your toilet, a little trash can. Um, this first aid thing, so I switch. More toilet paper, it might give you towels and washcloths. Then over here is the shower. And there you go. They give you shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. There's a little window up there. <laughs> Here's the view if I'm standing up in the bathroom. <laughs> ben has unloaded all of the food. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm doing nothing. <laughs> We've stocked it up. Well, Ben stocked it up to the brim. We have all the snacks we brought, which is a lot. All the s'more stuff, even though they gave us s'mores. Girl Scout cookies. I have some muffins up there, some more cookies. Chips of, of all sorts. Bread. And much more. Much, much more. <laughs> the only thing is, if you come here, just know they don't have wine glasses, so I brought my own wine glass. If you're a wine drinker, remember that, because the only cups they give you are these two like stainless steel mugs and um, these types of cups, which are also some sort of metal. So if you're into wine drinking, I don't really want to drink out of a metal cup. I want a wine glass. So just a tip health tip <laughs> okay i'm actually gonna help ben do stuff now that he's done everything oh. that's typically how it works we are officially unpacked ben's taking his shoes off getting comfortable um yeah i mean this is basically it it's small in here but it is at the same time spacious mm. i think <laughs> I think the bed makes it look spacious, but you like can't use that area unless you're in the bed. So it looks long, but standing room wise, it's just like this little area where we are right now. So, so far that's my review. <laughs> I brought myself some Rafino Chianti and some olive oil to make my pasta thing I'm gonna make. So, I'm gonna make dinner then. Get out of the way. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make dinner then. I'm making a recipe out of Chrissy Teigen's Cravings Cookbook. I can't remember what it's called. I'll show it to you in a second. Um, I took a picture of it on my iPhone, so obviously I didn't bring the whole cookbook with me because limited space here, and we filled it as much as we could. First things first. It uses um, pasta, so I'm gonna start boiling some water. What do you need? I'm just figuring out where everything is. We probably also should have brought fire starters. Mm -hmm. They're out there in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna look before right I touch then. that stuff? Yeah, I do, before it gets dark too. Yeah. Let me show you where the fire is. This is the fire area outside. And there's the table. Is that where the wood is in that box? Mm -hmm. There we go. 
The cicadas are so loud. The low, I don't know what they are exactly. They're not loud. And this yeah, is a view outside. These are this is the entrance way. So our cabin's name is Fanny. And then you go in this way. There we go. Here is the recipe I'm using. It's spaghetti, caucho, a pepe or something like that. I'm gonna make it now. Ooh, this wide angle shot. Let's make sure my pants are pulled out so my belly isn't out. First things first, I have my water boiling for my pasta. Then you cook, how much is it? A fourth a pound pancetta or bacon. I got bacon because I couldn't find that other thing. bacon is cooking slowly but surely. I don't think the pan is hot enough, so I'm going to turn it up a little bit. I don't know how to gauge these things, so just turned it up a little bit more. And the water is boiling slowly but surely. In the meantime, I'm going to mince up some garlic. Next, you actually leave the bacon juice in there and you add pepper flakes, olive oil, and adding the garlic now. Here's the finished product. Got my glass of wine. I don't know what Ben's drinking, probably Dr. Pepper. Yep. <laughs> I also brought some bread, which he's cutting up. And I made a bit of a mess over there, but we'll get that afterwards. doing the dishes now he's almost done I just poured myself another glass of wine <laughs> and I'm just taking a little gander but I wanted to show you they have this little game how do I open it it's a little game box so they have cards and dice so if you wanted to play like a card game they already have it here for you Probably not going to use that because Ben hates card games. <laughs> More than anything, he hates card games. He thinks it's a waste of time. Why is my face all red? It's just the lighting. I think it's just the lighting there. But yeah, he thinks it's a waste of time. Especially when you're in a place like that um, you've traveled to and that's new and exciting. He doesn't like card games. Just a fun fact about Ben. Why isn't this focusing on my face? There we go. Just a fun fact about Ben. Um, other than that, I turned the lantern on. <laughs> That's a new development. Pretty bright. That's about it. That's as exciting as these vlogs are gonna get. I think my chin is all red because I got like the oil on my chin as I was eating. <laughs> And it probably wiped off some of my makeup. Whoops. I have my coat on now. Ben and I are going out to make a fire. Um, well, it's Ben who's going to make the fire. I'm going to sit by it. <laughs> Got my glass of wine. Here we go. Ben has the fire going. Listen to how loud the cicadas are. It's crazy. I've never heard them that loud in my life. Got the fire going. I'm running low on my glass of wine. <laughs> you can't see it. And I also have, I retrieved it from my car, you can't see it either, my pepper spray in case we run into any bears. <laughs> I have pepper spray in my car always in case of human predators, but this is in case of an animal predator. It is morning now and I'm 
going to make Ben and I a cup of coffee. They have these, where'd they go? They have these pour over coffees, which just means that um, you boil the water and then these like open up like a filter in your cup, kind of like a tea bag, but it looks different. And you just pour the water over it. Um, I actually knew that they had those here, but I can't um, drink caffeinated coffee because it makes my heart race. So I brought my own decaf pour over coffees that I bought off Amazon because I knew that they weren't going to have decaf coffee here based off of what I read online. So yeah, just gonna make our coffees. Ben is in the bathroom behind me taking a shower and I am working on making some breakfast. I have the bacon going, potatoes filling for home fries, and the onion for her home fries. I'm also going to make some sausage because Ben likes sausage better than bacon for breakfast. But I wasn't thinking about that when I started cooking this. So now I have too much bacon, but maybe he'll eat both. Got my home fries going with the onions. Bacon's done, so it's sausage. Ben is out of the shower, all clean. I still Baby. have to take a shower. Yeah, you look like you're dirty as hell. Wow. Ben and I are going to take a walk after we're done eating. There's a little trail here that basically goes around the whole campsite. And after that, we'll probably just chill at the fire all day ooh, ooh. and do some more eating. All eating, eating, eating. <laughs> And breakfast is done. Now time to eat. Ben just made us some more coffees. And we're good to go. Okay, I'm all bundled up now. Taking my shower. Put my makeup on. And Ben and I are going to take a walk now. Have my cup of coffee. Gonna put my gloves on. Let's get going. Here's the trailhead. And there's the body of water. Probably we're all... The cicadas were last night. We're walking on the trail now. Gotta be careful. Down here there's a body of water that's moving. This must be Beaver Creek. But over here it's just stagnant and dirty. <laughs> it seems warmer down here though. The sun is shining down here. So I'm heating up, but it's warmer than I thought it would be. I thought it would be very cold today. It's like 48 it's says right now. It's chilly, but I'm fine. There's another sign. Yeah. Walking trail. It's definitely not an intensive trail at all. So if you're not a super big hiker, like I am not, <laughs> then you'll be fine on it. And this is where the cicadas are and frogs. So our thing must be right up there on the hill. Yep. <laughs> All the cabins are lining up there. Can't see, really see them. See those two. Yeah, ours must be one of those. We are back from our hike now, back to our little cabin. And Ben is making a fire. It's about, well, it was 12.45 when I last looked. It's about to be one o'clock. So we're probably gonna make some lunch over the fire and we want to get some more firewood so we have enough to last us all day long. I'm sitting at the fire now making a mountain pie. There it is. Basically, it's just white bread. Ooh, I think it's burning. <laughs> um, it's just white bread with cheese, pepperoni, and pizza sauce. So it's like a mini pizza.
there's my mountain pie. Ignore the piece of butter on the side. <laughs> Hi, I'm sitting here by the fire <laughs> with my hood on and Ben is inside cutting up some potatoes for our steak and potato dinner. Here's the fire we got going on. And we're gonna cook the steak and potatoes on the fire. And I'm reading on my Kindle, I'm reading a book called Braving the Wilderness by Brene Brown. And then I have a glass of wine over here. Waiting for my steak. Then start in the potatoes. <laughs> he thinks it's going to be a disaster. But I'm not so sure. How long are they supposed to cook there? 15 minutes. Are you getting burned like your hand? No. Look how perfect those potatoes look that Ben's making. How much longer do they have? Uh. I'm uh, getting softer, so probably about five minutes. Okay. Getting closer and closer. The steaks are on. And then we have asparagus on the grill. How are you feeling about it so far? So far, so good. It's gonna be a disaster? Possible. I don't know <laughs> how long these are gonna take to cook. Yeah, the steaks are what I'm iffy about. Wow, look at those steaks. Mm -mm -mm. And here is the finished product. Looks very good. <laughs> You're like, let me just eat it. I want to get your reaction on the vid. It's not exactly a good steak knife. Good? Very tender. It is Sunday morning now and Ben and I are heading out. Checkout is at 11 o'clock. It is 10.56 right now. So we're making it out just in time, but I thought I would just give one last look of the cabin before we leave and say goodbye. Ben and I tidied it up. <laughs> goodbye, tiny cabin. going to miss it. It was really fun. Highly recommend it. 10 out of 10. Can you check one more time? You want to check one more time? Yeah. Walk right here. I just closed the door. It's fine. <laughs> Ben's double checking to make sure we brought everything. Okay. Ben confirmed. We did everything we had to do. Didn't leave anything behind. I can tell. There she is in the rear view mirror, Fanny. Goodbye, Fanny. We enjoyed our time. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Back to Pittsburgh-ish. Let me pull up the directions. We've come upon mile, the town. Turn left onto South oh, crap. It was really loud. But we've come upon the town. Here it is. We saw a sign that said most stores closed on Sunday, so they're probably all closed today. <laughs> Steel trolley diner. Looks like that's closed. A subway. Turn left. That's okay. It's pretty cute. A lot more extensive than I thought it would be. To be honest. Now, we're actually going to make our way home. 